I'd like to talk about a um, review method that is, is somewhat directed. Um, well, this has come from this book, Total Design by Stuart Pugh. It's not a book about software, it's actually a book about industrial design. But in that, he has, uh, he uses a particular method of evaluating uh, alternative ways of, of uh, solving the same problem. So he's a designer and he's interested in all the model, multiple ways that, uh, that you can satisfy a design brief. And the method that he uses is actually very useful. Now largely in, in uh, say, uh, software development, we look at whether something will work or not as if it's a binary decision. Yes, it will do that function. No, it won't do that function. But with the architecture, we can't make quite such binary decisions. We can't sit there and say, yes, anything implemented in that architecture will work. Um, it, it might, but we don't know that yet. What we can say is we can have some confidence that this architecture will support the required functionality. So we're dealing with a, a qualitative measure on, a, on some sort of a scale. Now that's not a problem. We can all usually look at something and say, well, look, on a scale of 1 to 10, it sits at 7 or 4 or something like that. Now this is the essence of this particular method. So what you see there is we start with the functional and quality requirements, okay? And we have at least one alternative, and we can evaluate one architecture uh, for those that, that's, that functionality and those qualities. The functionality, we can't go through listing off all the, the uh, specific functionalities, but we probably can list off the main system features, which will give you a manageable list, because most systems actually have oh, less than 10, 10 features that they're dealing with. That's manageable. So you, you can evaluate the architecture and say, on a scale of, um, I prefer a scale of five, because that gives a nice broad scale um, where we can say three is we think so, and you know, five is we it will do it superbly, and we can we can make uh, decisions there. And same with the uh, non-functional. Now, if you can do that, if you have several alternative um, architectures, um, then you are able to compare how well each of them could meet those uh, criteria. So. We rate the architecture, uh, rate how well each requirement, functional feature is to be implemented, and see see how well this architecture supports that functionality, and on a you know a, a small manageable scale. We're not getting down to two decimal places of accuracy. Really, what we're trying to find out is is one better than the other. It, it, uh, we, we can do that reasonably well. Next thing we have a look at is can it be improved? If we do a, a fairly good um, and honest evaluation of the architecture on those rates of how well can it satisfy these functions, we can have a look at something that's rated maybe two or three and say, well, look, can we improve that without weakening something else? As an example, have a look at this uh, Dragon Boat Regatta system, which is one of the case studies that, that I have available. And there are uh, four main features. There is the event management, the race management, the crew management, and the results. Okay, so there's only four features. And I've put up there two different uh, possible architectures, uh, just for the sake of comparison. I can use a, a bottle view controller, or I can use an action domain responder. And I've rated them there, and they're exactly the same. The qualities, though, uh, I want to rate the qualities, I've uh, listed the qualities there and their relative importance in this system. And as you see, the most important one is usability because this is going to be used by um, uh, people who, uh, you know, people are not using it all the time and not necessarily computer literate. So usability is a very high importance and the lowest I have is uh, testability. I'm not going to be testing it on today. I can afford to take time to test it at my leisure. So it's not, to me, that most important. There, we start seeing a difference because um, 
modifiability is easier with Action Domain Responder and performance is better with Action Domain Responder. Uh, so in this analysis, the ADR pattern is probably a better pattern for me to use in this system than Model View Controller.